check it out, my friends. Woo! Just traded it. Hey, it's Dangerous Dave Senko from Tuncan and Park, Chrysler Jeep and Dodge. We just traded this in. It's a 2007 Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi, 5.7 Hemi. And the music is playing because you know what? When do you see the stereo system in this truck? When we get to that, and I guess the previous owner left that in there. It sounded like maybe the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It should be the Detonator Yellow Peppers because that's the color of this truck. That's what it's called, Detonator Yellow. Check it out, it's even got a tattoo on it. Look at that, it's got its own tattoo. There's one on the tailgate too. I'll show you that in a little bit too. It's a one owner Ram 1500 quad cab. It was actually bought here new. The guy just traded in two nights ago on a uh, Ram 2500, a 2009 Ram 2500. So you're gonna love this truck. I kinda, I mean, I'm, I'm in love with it myself. It's not for everybody, okay? Not for everybody. You gotta be a little bit out there for this truck. There's no question about it, all right? Because not too often can you go down the road in a detonator yellow truck, jam into the red hot chili peppers, and have a tattoo on the side, and a lot of chrome. Wait, come around the front here. Check this out over here. Some people would call this a chrome rush guard. Others might refer to this as a deer catcher, or if you're really on a back road somewhere, a cow catcher. That's really shiny. I'm telling you, you know what? We, we, this is the way the guy traded the truck in, okay? This clean. I mean, the guy took care of this truck like you wouldn't believe. We, we didn't even wash this truck yet, all right? This is how clean this truck is. I mean, he took care of this truck, took a lot of pride in this truck. Check out these headlights here. It's got all kinds of funkadelic headlamps here. You got like stuff going on in there when the truck is coming down the road at nighttime. It's like, whoa, check this out. And you got the music playing and everything. It's like, cool, all right? Let's go back around over here. I'll show you some, oh, we got chrome, chrome wheels. Of course, what good would the rest of the yellow truck be without the chrome wheels? Chrome side steps, Mopar splash guards, mud flaps, if you will. All right. Now, you come around here. I'm going to just hop in the back, okay? But before I hop in the back, I want to show you something here. See this little thing right here? It looks like it's a Sirius satellite receiver or one of those things. That's what I thought it was. And the guy told me, he said, no, dummy. He, he didn't know my first name. He said, no, dummy. He said, that's a chip. He said, the truck has a chip in there. And what are you talking about, like Doritos? Where are they back somewhere? Where are you keeping them? I said, no, in the engine. He said, you program this so that you can produce more horsepower if you want, like 400 horsepower if you want, or you can back it back down so that you can get like 18 miles per gallon with the Hemi. He said, like, he said, I get excellent gas mileage with the truck. He said, anybody who has a Hemi should have one of these chips. I don't know all the technological side of how the thing works, but you press some buttons and there's some different numbers that come up here and it'll tell you how much miles per gallon you're getting and how much horsepower and all that other stuff. We'll all figure that out as we, as we go along. But right now, that's a pretty cool deal. Let me show you something back here before you go back there. Is this is like a circus on wheels here. He's got speakers underneath the seat. He's got amplifiers here. He's even got the regular factory radio he gave us too. Check that out. Whew. I mean, you could probably have your own little rock concert going on back here if you want to. <clears throat> All kinds of stuff. Now well, you give up a little bit of the storage that sometimes you have underneath the seat, but you're probably not buying this truck for storage anyway. You're looking to buy it because you're going to look cool in this truck. There's no question about it. Let me open up this door here real quick so you can get around in the front there. Okay, it's open. Go ahead in there. All right. All right. Now, you got, of course, it's a four-wheel drive, okay? And it's a, a electronic four-wheel drive. You don't have the shift lever in the middle there. It's electronic right here. So here's your four-wheel drive switch. You can go from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive at any legal speed. You got to, you know, stop to go to four-wheel drive low. And you're not going to be using four-wheel drive low all that much. You only use that really if it's really muddy, deep, deep snow, or if you're pulling a, a boat out of a lake or something like that. You know what I mean? And you got to stop to go in a four-wheel drive low. The stereo system is a clarion. The guy put it in himself. He's a, it's even an M MP3 player. There's even a thing here. Look at this. Get your iPod. You just plug your iPod right in. And then you can just, you can just leave your tunes on your iPod right here through the stereo system. Of course, we already looked at the speakers and stuff. Man, you could probably, like, you know, be driving the truck in Scranton and they're going to hear you in Wilkesbury. I'm not really sure. But anyway, you got storage here. Get the wire for the iPod all the way. 
cup holders, and then you got more storage here. You got power outlets galore, one here, another power outlet over there, and then you got more storage here. It'd tell you what the temperature is, what direction you're heading, and of course that temperature do funky thing is good also on those nasty northeastern Pennsylvania winter days where you're not sure if that rain hitting the road surface is actually freezing on the road surface or if it's just plain old rain. You know, you'd be able to tell right there. Okay, and you got uh, your your uh, mirror back here. It has a little button there so that you can actually just hit that button and then just actually it dims the reflection of the headlights on the mirror so that's a pretty cool deal too i'm going to open up the hood as you go around front there what an awesome looking truck this is watch out for a cow catcher up the front here hope nobody gets ticked off that we call it a cow catcher i'm not trying to be politically correct here that's what it is okay you got your 5.7 liter v8 hemi underneath and everything underneath is pretty well uh accessible easy to get to your washer fluids right up front i know that because it says washer fluid right there and and either that's washer fluid or it's probably the makings of a good popsicle when it gets cold and then over here this is your engine coolant and it kind of looks like a cherry popsicle you know inside there one of those cool pops but I wouldn't drink that stuff. It's probably not going to be good for you here, okay? And, oh, we didn't mention that it's a Carfax certified vehicle, meaning, I'll show you that in a minute, but you want to know a cool tip? If you're ever looking at a vehicle and you want to see if the vehicle's ever been in a front-end collision or something like that, you look at the bolts on the front of the truck right here, okay? If the paint's broken on the bolts, it means that the, the, uh, the bolts have been turned with some type of wrench or something like that, meaning that the fender has probably been off, okay? And as you can see here, you probably can't get a real good shot, but you're going to have to trust me on this. The, nothing's been touched on the front of this truck, okay? Even on the radiator supports, the other fender. You can also feel sometimes, too, if you're looking at a vehicle, you can feel sometimes a paint line or anything like that. That's why I rubbed my finger up and down like that. I'm not massaging the truck. It's nice and smooth, okay? Both sides, and the same thing over the front, same thing over here. Okay, no paint lines or anything like that. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gorgeous truck. I really like this truck. <clears throat> Let me show you that Carfax report because, you know, the folks at Carfax are doing this deal on TV. You may have seen it even where they're saying, you know, walk in the dealership and uh, tell them to show you the Carfax on any used vehicle that you're buying. So we have one here for you, and I'm going to show it to you here. This is your Carfax report. It says it right here, vehicle history report. It's a Carfax one owner vehicle, okay? And they even got it on the windshield there too. Carfax one owner vehicle. As we said, it was bought here new. And what Carfax does is they go over like a whole bunch of different things from state agencies uh, and, and they check for things like accidents and uh, insurance companies, um, anything to do with the title problem, odometer problem. This thing is as clean as can be, okay? Even shows that it was purchased brand new at Tunganic Auto Mart. And uh, it doesn't tell you the, who owned it, but it was a local owner. It tells you where the, you know, the city that the person lived in and stuff like that. So I'm just going to throw this back here in the truck, close this up, got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, we went over that, as a matter of fact, the mirrors are heated, tattoo on the side, we mentioned that, chrome wheels, dual exhaust, okay, let me start this up for you real quick, just so you can get it, oh, look at this, chrome door handles too, that's a pretty cool deal, I mean, the truck is awesome, let me see if I can start this up here, you hear that, I don't know if you can hear that, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, yeah, it's got, you know, got a little girt to it. You know what I'm talking about there? <clears throat> it's got the chrome dual exhaust. Previous owner put those on. There's the tattoo on the back. You know, if you don't want the tattoo, they have that tattoo removal stuff now. I, 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 I saw it on cable TV. It's like, if you, you can get that right off there if you want to. It's got a trailer towing package. And not only does it have the hitch, but that means it's got the heavy-duty cooling for the transmission and the engine. So that's a good deal. And the, the aerodynamic tail lamps back here. And of course, I don't know if you can see that there, it's a 4x4. And of course, I'm just saying. All right? Chrome wheels, we went over all that stuff. Lots of room in the back. We showed you the speakers in the back. 5.7 Hemi, everybody knows you're driving a Ram 1500, lots of chrome on the side. Awesome truck. Thanks for shopping with us. Come on over to Tunkhannock Auto Mart.
Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. We have cars for sale every day, new and used, including this whew, gorgeous detonator yellow Ram 1500. Hope to see you soon. Give us a call.